Good morning. Good morning, those of you watching on the screen. Welcome to Daily Chapel. We are extremely glad you're here. Um, I'm Pastor Babette, University Pastor, and we're extremely excited that we have a guest preacher today, Karen Hesser from Flathead Bible Camp in Kalispell. Is that right? Kalispell, Montana. And her, Richie is a, are you also a director? You're, Richie, you're a director. I'm just, <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm conversational. So, um, but we're extremely excited that they're going to share a good word. And, and also the plug that there are opportunities um, for employment and internship at their camp, which is a great way to be in the center of some faith formation. And so we will center ourselves and open our hearts and voices to the presence of God. We gather in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Mother of us all. Amen. We'll hear a good rendition of an African-American spiritual from Daniel Toey. Standing in the need of prayer, tis me, oh me, oh me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, not my deacon, not my other, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of Our scripture this morning is Ephesians 3, verses 18 and 19, that says, I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The breadth and length and height and depth. Camp is full of moments that are that type of high and long and wide and deep. Camp and God's love is higher than the views that we get from the hikes that we get to go on. And God's love is longer than the string that we use to make friendship bracelets. And God's love is wider than the dining hall where we share in family style meals and build community. And God's love is deeper than Flathead Lake where we get to canoe and swim and share in adventures. God's love is higher than the adventurous moments of trying new things and longer than the list of questions that we have about faith that we get to explore together. And God's love is wider than the acts of hospitality and service that we get to share with our guests in the community and deeper than the conversations that we share that build our relationships with each other. I often get to introduce myself as, hi, I'm Karen, and I'm the program director at Flathead Lutheran Bible Camp. I wish that people could hear between the lines and hear, hi, I'm Karen, and the boundless, limitless love of God that I experienced going to summer camps and working at summer camps has a direct impact on what I do now and the way that I get to interact with people and build community and interact with my own faith. 
because that's the truth and I'm a program director and I work at camp is that it's because of God's love. And a lot of that stems from the wild love, adventure, and service that we experience at camp. I love watching our staff community get to build those friendships and relationships and build their own confidence in their abilities and their faith throughout the summer. Within the first week of having our staff at camp, we make sure that we take a staff picture where everyone is wearing their new camp shirts and they're all excited to be there. And you can tell that they don't quite know everybody, but they're excited to get to know the people that they're standing next to. At the end of the summer, we take a staff picture because the staff ask for it because they're so excited about this community that they've built, about the friends that they've made, uh, about all that they've learned in this experiential community that is centered around God's love. And it's neat to see those relationships build with Christ at the center. Sometimes at camp, Christ is in the center in moments that you don't realize it. Uh, early on in my time at camps, when I was a staff member, I went out with a group of young girls and we were going to do an overnight. We were going to cook our own meals, we were going to stay in tents, and we were going to hike out there. And it was, it was my first summer on staff, so I was not quite just as nervous as those girls, but, you know, I, I had the skills, but it was one of the first times that I had led a group out there. And so we got out to our hiking spot. We were setting up our tents and we'd finally managed to get all the poles in the right spots. And I looked at my campers and I said, you guys are awesome. You know what, you are mountain women. And they kind of looked at me funny and, and thought, you know, thought that it was all right. And then, and then we cooked dinner together and we made sure that they helped us to cook dinner. It's part of learning those skills as a team when we have campers at camp. And, you know, they weren't so sure about eating their macaroni out of the same cup that they were drinking their Kool-Aid that we all shared. And at the end of the meal, I said, that was so great. You guys are such mountain women. <laughs> And they were like, yeah, we are. And then at night, you know, it's starting to get dark. The nerves start to rise a little bit because you're not so sure about sleeping outside. And in encouragement, I said, ah, you guys got this. You're mountain women. And they said, yeah, we are. And throughout the week of camp with those young girls, they started saying that back to me. They're like, no, 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 we got this because we're mountain women. And it was neat to see that turnaround and that encouragement. And they all went home after the week at camp and I continued having different groups of campers working with different staff members. Um, but the really neat part where God was at work more than I realized is that some of those girls were in my home congregation. So I got home after the summer and went to church the next Sunday and those girls came running up to me and they said, Karen, we're mountain women! <laughs> and I had no idea just the sense of empowerment that they felt and encouragement that they felt in exploring those adventures and that faith in that community together, that the spirit was at work in that, in them. So that community that we build through Christ spreads beyond our staff members into those guests that we have at camp. And it's amazing to see Christ in every one of those spaces, higher and longer and wider and deeper than we can imagine. I encourage each and every one of you today to look around, to search for those moments, little or big, that feel filled boundlessly with God's love. Thank you.
Thank you, Karen, for sharing that reflection with us. I, I think I'll carry that energy of the boundless love of Christ throughout the day. Hmm. So receive this benediction. Fill with the goodness and boundless love of God. Go in peace and share the good news of Christ with your neighbor and throughout the community. Amen.